Hey man, what's good? Welcome back to another video, you feel me? Hey man, if you was wondering how I edit my videos, man, it's simple. I record off the iPhone, you feel me? All my videos, if you look at them, they all on the iPhone, you feel me? Like, so, the f bitch? But yeah, man, if, if you wanted to know how I edit my videos, man, it's off an app called LumaFusion. Now, with LumaFusion, man, you gotta understand that it do cost money. But look, I'm gonna tell you right now, man, it's nothing. You feel me? Man, this is how I edit my videos, and this is the closest you're gonna get to using a Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro for your iPhone, man. Because this thing has everything in it. I will show you a little tutorial in this video on how I can get this intro that I'm basically making for you right now and how we can edit it and make it look even more fire. <laughs> all off your iPhone, man. But yeah, man, we're gonna get into this video, man. But before we get into it, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe because it helps me and it helps promote this video. So if I helped you, man, make sure you help me out. You feel me? Let's get into this video. All right now, man. So we right here at the tutorial. You feel me like we over here right now. All right, man, so check me out. So. Once you get LumaFusion, man, you're going to go ahead and click on it. Bam. It's going to be right there. I already got a project set up. You feel me? It's how I edit my videos, which is how you feel me. So what you want to do is when you start your project, you want to go to this plus sign down here. So once you click plus, you will make your project. I usually keep my frames at 30 uh, frames per second. You can do it at 24 or 30, depending on what you're doing. Or you can you want to go higher, depending on what kind of video you're making. But if you're just making regular videos, I usually do between 24 and 30. You want to keep it at a 16 by 9 landscape. And after you get everything situated, you want to press that plus button right at the top right. So I'm going to press exit. So once you get into it, it's going to be blank. So what you want to do is you want to either go to videos or all photos and videos, depending on what you're doing. I usually do all photos and videos. So I'm going to go right here. As you see, I got a lot of stuff screen recorded. So everything that's screen recorded is mainly like something that I wanted to edit depending on my phone or just like a sound effect or like a subscribe uh, effect with a green screen in the back. I just screen record all that, you feel me? And then I just go through and I edit it and put it on there. So as you see, this is how it looks right now. So in order for me to get it to like that, I had to put a video up there. I had to kind of clip out what I needed. So what I did was I just, expand it depending on what i do the sound waves that you see in your video it kind of helps you a lot and then you also can go frame by frame when you slide over and then all you got to do is once you pick what you want to take out you just hit cut scroll over what you want kind of play it around press cut and then kind of go back you'll want to kind of go back to you know what you selected and then press trash so since I already edited this already, I don't really want to mess with it. You feel me? So basically, that's how you cut it. And I'm just showing you just the simple things that you, you want to know. So as you see right here, you see how it kind of, you see how like it, it kind of jumped frames. So what you want to do with this right here is when it jump frames like that, what I usually do is you just go to this uh, frame and fit and then you get you kind of like get your two fingers and you kind of like slide it how you how close you want to get it like if you want to zoom in or whatever and then you will just touch it again and then kind of like turn it and then bam you got it like that you feel me so we want to we want to keep this boy right oops probably fucked it up so that's how you kind of like kind of got to get it now um big rule of thumb this is a huge rule of th <coughs> big rule of thumb though before you start making any type of cuts you want to select your clip and after you select your clip you want to make sure you color correct your video depending on if you need to nine out of ten you want to color correct you never know man I like to color correct my videos before I even do anything. So that's what you kind of want to do. Because if you don't, like I did earlier when I was editing this, you got to go back to each one 
and you gotta go back and color correct each clip that you cut and man when i tell you that'll piss you off and that'll waste a lot of time now when you get to stuff like this right here bam all i did was for this uh blank canvas right here all you gotta do is you gotta go to where you had it at bam Kayla, we don't want to see you my boy and all you want to do is click blank clip bam it's gonna give you a two second blank clip so um after you do that you'll put it in there this sound effect i got down here i basically screen recorded a video of sound effects and then the one i really wanted i just cut it out and then i just slide it back to where i want it now you can kind of like pinch the screen kind of spread it out so you can see a little bit better to know exactly where you need to make your cuts at and this subscribe button all i really did was i think this was a png file i uh found on the internet all i really did was just grab it plop it in there and then just resized it um down here on the right hand side i just resized it on fit on frame and fit and bam and there you go so after you do that you get something like this where i got this from i got it from youtube also i screen record everything so another scene i did uh you see this fly right here it was a fly that was bothering me so how i got that effect right there all i did i went to my scene where i want to put it at i press add clip and then you'll go to overlay title you feel me once you go to overlay title you'll go here you have your title right here on this right hand side where it says shape you're gonna press delete and then you're gonna press add and it's gonna tell you what you want to add you want to add a text shape or image you want to go to image and then after you add an image you're gonna see an arrow right there so once you get that arrow all you really want to do is you want to go right here to size and position you want to shrink it down to have a small small you want it or you want to if you want to make it big you can increase the size and all you gotta do is go down here and increase this size right here you can use these little arrows down here or you can slide it um and then if you want it to move like if you want to track it all you got to go is down here you want to go to size and position at this bottom left as you see where you see the uh, blue x's and then it's going to be a plus so it'd be something like like this where you see that white plus at, at the left nod your head if you see it so what you want to do is you kind of want to go through you want to hit your plus where you want to start and then if you really want it to look real good all you're going to do is hit this little keyframe every single time and then you're just going to keep moving moving around either with your finger or with this uh or with the positions on it on the right hand side now my problem is since this arrow was too small i kind of did have to mess with these sliders on the right hand side right here and it can be a little tedious sometimes man and you see i kind of kind of went frame by frame and then like towards the end i was just like you know what? we just we just gonna be off frame a little bit <laughs> you know because it's a small clip it's like a second so you won't even you won't even notice that i kind of like was off a little bit because it was a second our movies can't do that <laughs> you feel me you feel me they can't do that you want you want that adobe premiere final cut feel to your videos you feel me so let's just say you got like an effect they have a green screen behind it like let's just say a subscribe where you know the little mouse come up and it clicks it and then ding, ding and subscribe you feel me you want to add that into your stuff so what you want to do is you want to pop it up it'll be green screen you want to slap it over whatever you want to slap it over like say it's right here um and then what you want to do is you kind of want to just uh after you slap it over you want to go into your edits then you want to go to color and effect and then you want to go over here to chroma keys right here so if you see that in the top right corner where it's highlighted you want to go to chroma key and then you want to hit green screen after you hit green screen let's just say the green that they are providing you isn't the green that you see so what you want to do is you kind of want to go over here you want to kind of figure out what you want to grab and then you would just you'll just hold it you'll hold this over here let's just say i want this red bam i get the red let's just say the background is red let's just imagine it all right so bam we got the background red you feel me so then after you do that you want to just mess with your hues your saturations your brightness you know whatever 
until you don't see no more green on there. Now, I ain't gonna cap with you, man. Sometimes, depending on what kind of effect you got, like fire or whatever, those can be a little hard without kind of like making the, the fire a little bit smaller, if that makes sense. But, you know, it ain't gonna be great, you feel me? Mind we on the phone. So, that's just, just in case you got green screens. Let's just go over here. Bam, you see the swatting. So, the swatting part, what I did was, I went over here, as you see, I zoomed in, I did my tracking motion, and I basically tracked my hand, swatting. And I zoomed in to where my hand was in frame, and it just focused nothing but on my hand. And then, all I did was get my sound effect, and I did it to where my sound effect needed to swat, so it sounded like this. Now, with this right here, since this right here was so small, all I really did was go to frame and fit, and I did my tracking motion. I zoomed in uh, to my frame a little bit closer, and I basically just gave it some bounce. You feel me? Like, I kind of, like, tracked my hands because my hands had more motion than anything. And I kind of just tracked my hands but tried to keep my face into a uh, frame, and then it just gave it that bounce that it needed. You feel me? So it came out like this. Yeah, man, if, if you want. Now, for people that don't understand, these type of small edits, it makes a video. It kind of makes it a little funnier. It makes it a little bit more entertaining. I guarantee you, if you still watching it towards this end, you probably enjoyed that part because it was kind of funny. You feel me? It showed a motherfucker, you know, personality. You feel me? But that's really it, man. So after I, after I did all these edits, simple edits, Bam, you go right here. You got something like this. Hey, man. After that, you got something like this. So, bitch. Yeah, man. Bam. That's it for the tutorial, my guy. But yeah, man, that's it for this video, man. If this was helpful for you, man, make sure you comment below and let me know, man. And just to help me out, make sure you like this video, man. And make sure you subscribe to press that notification bell to follow everything else that we got going, man. The next video, man, I'm probably going to end up doing is how to edit thumbnails and also how to make a YouTube banner. You feel me? So, man... That's it, man. Like I say, man, make sure you subscribe, my boy. You feel me? Like, man, but we gonna get into it, man. I'll see y'all next video. You feel me? Like, yeah. Everybody know. Yeah. It's a green light. Yeah, everything will go. go.